Yep, back in the good old days of the 70s and the 80s, if you wanted to know the frequency of something and you didn't have a frequency counter, you had to check your uh, time per division, count the number of divisions, and do some math in your head. Hey, what's happening guys? Hope you're all doing well today. Today we're going to talk about frequency division using flip-flops. And uh, the, the particular flip-flop we're going to use today is the uh, CD4013BE, uh, standard CMOS type flip-flop. It is a 14-pin uh, uh, dip chip, real simple to use, real common, and they're really easy. So let's say that we have some sort, some sort of a clock source over here. This is our clock. And it has a frequency of one megahertz. But we want a frequency of 500 kilohertz or half of that. How can we do that? Well, what we can do is to use a flip-flop with a feedback loop. So this is our flip-flop here. We have our clock input, okay? Then we have our data input. We have our two outputs, Q and Q naught. So we take our frequency source and we feed that into our clock input. Now we take our Q naught and we simply run it back into the data input, creating that feedback loop. And that is going to give us an output on Q of one half of our original frequency. And we end up with a uh, divide by two counter. And this is the first step of what becomes known as a ripple counter. And I'll tell you why in just a second. All right, PPLE. The reason it's called a ripple counter is if we take the same concept. I'll pause so you don't have to watch me draw this out. So we take the same concept. Here is our original frequency in. We feed it into the first flip-flop. We take our output of, this, of the first flip-flop, which is F divided by two, and we feed it into the second flip-flop. And now our output here is F divided by four. And we can take that, feed it into the third flip-flop. And now we are at F divided by 8. So each stage ripples down and that's why it's called a ripple counter. Are you with me so far? Good. Alright, so I have a little circuit for us right here. I've just got a 1 megahertz uh, full can crystal oscillator here. So it's going to output a 1 megahertz mostly square wave. It's not going to be completely square, of course, because of the parasitic capacitance and inductions of, of, a, of a breadboard and the wires and all that, but it's close enough to a square wave for our uses. We're going to output that. We're just using the second half of this flip-flop here. first half's all grounded. We're going to output that to the clock in. We are going to feed our Q out, which is 9, I believe, back to our data, and we'll get our output over here. So first of all, let me hook this up, and I'm going to disconnect the clock circuit so that you can see what we're doing. Hook that up over here. Then I will get this attached to the oscilloscope. And if we come over here, you can see what we got going on there. 
and you can see we're at five microseconds and you can figure out your frequency from there it's about one megahertz okay all right let's go back down to our circuit what we'll do now is we'll disconnect that connect this back over here where it goes let's see eight nine ten eleven and well, then we'll hook her back up here come back over and whoop, you can now see we are at exactly half of that frequency so frequency division with a flip-flop also known as a ripple counter and it can also be the first step of a binary counter where you line a bunch of these up and you can create something that counts in binary which is pretty cool I mean it's just basic electronics but it's a it's something useful you know if you need to cut a frequency in half or you need to cut it in four by four or by eight or by 32 just by you know lining up those flip-flops as many as you need you just keep chopping that frequency in half it's a little fun to play with with electronics I hope you enjoy it if you did give me a thumbs up feel free to comment and share and don't forget to subscribe make sure you keep washing those hands keep safe okay don't worry about you guys that's it I'm out peace I want to thank you all for watching and spending time with me today uh, a community like this is uh, something that we can all be very proud of so again thank you very much for all your support of learn electronics uh, please feel free to check out the Patreon page. Dollar a month is all I ask and uh, really helps keep the channel alive. We also have an Amazon shop where you can buy most of the items that you see on here. And there's a link to it down below.